Hello there, YouTube. In this video, I will show you how to make a modular cemetery. Go from one grave to an entire cemetery with this one project. <laughs> I'll show you how we do it after the drop. <laughs> Well, this is a very fun, simple craft, a great craft for beginners. Um, and the first step is the best and the most fun of the entire project. Get yourself a piece of half inch XPS foam and cut out one inch by three quarter inch pieces. If you don't have XPS foam, that's okay. Go ahead, get that dollar store ready board uh, foam core and cut it into one inch by three quarter inch pieces. These pieces are then going to be used to create the headstones and tombstones for your graveyard cemetery. In this step, you get to be very creative. Search your memory for all the unique and interesting uh, gravestones you've seen and just carve yourself up a whole ton of them. Make them differ in shape and size just a little bit and give your cemetery tons of visual interest. And if you're having a hard time remembering different shapes and sizes, I challenge you to go to a Google or a Bing, any kind of image search engine, and just look, uh, look up some gravestones and, and cemeteries and let those real world sources fuel your creativity. This step should be an absolute blast for you. Have fun go at it and don't stop until you've made enough tombstones for your modular cemetery with the camera at high speed i'm just gonna let you watch me carve four tombstones in this quick time lapse of course feel free to edit change modify any of the designs to fit the image of a cemetery in your mind's eye. Anyway, I'm gonna sit back, relax, and let's watch some tombstone carving.
These are just four of many. Keep that in mind. Now it's on to basing. I'm gonna use my one inch fender washer for weight. I'm gonna glue it down on a thin piece of chip and then glue that headstone right to it. Simply cut that fender washer out of the chip and then with some more hot glue, we're gonna texture the washer and blend where the washer meets that chip. So we're gonna create a slight textured mound of hot glue for that tombstone to sit in. Mini for scale. Looking good. Once the hot glue dries, we're gonna hit it with some white PVA. Use a brush you don't care for so much. Spread that glue out and we're gonna flock it with craft sand. Nothing new here, no new techniques really. It's all about the design and I'll explain later. Now we're gonna lock that sand into place and strengthen that foam with our Black Magic Craft base coat. 50% matte Mod Podge, 50% black acrylic paint. And then we get to the painting. I'm gonna go right for my granite gray, my lighter gray. I'm gonna hit those tombstones with it. Then I'm gonna come back with Americana's Mississippi mud and we're gonna hit the remaining areas of the base with that. Again, nothing new here, YouTube. These are all techniques I've been using, the same paint schemes throughout uh, the vast majority of my videos. This is a super easy craft that gets you incredible results. And let's face it, we're always fighting monsters and enemies in a cemetery. So you're gonna use these cute little tombstones over and over and over again. Wait a minute, did I call them cute? I meant spooky and terrifying. Once your paints have dried, hit them with a wash. I went with my homemade black wash. It's still way too dark, but we're gonna fix that with some uh, heavy dry brushing of that same granite gray. And then we're gonna hit the ground area with the Mississippi mud. That's gonna bring our colors back and make these tombstones pop. But what this video is really about is actually the concept and not so much these techniques. You've seen me doing single tombstones, but to lay out an entire graveyard one by one would just be ridiculous. Your players are gonna tap their toes, they're gonna pull out their phones, they're gonna be bored while you set up the game, uh, the game table. So, let's take some of these uh, gravestones and group them up. Here's the real beauty of this modular cemetery setup. You see I've got several pieces laid out and an instant graveyard takes shape. I recommend you do them in these setups that I have right here on the table. I have two rows of three, and I just happen to carve three similar tombstones. Yours can be different, doesn't matter. Here's one with four. Each of these pieces has a fender washer glued down and flocked over to keep these pieces secure on the table. There's one with two. So I have two singles, because occasionally you need a single grave. 
Now we've got a couple's grave. Perfect. Do we need three? We got it. Four, you're covered. Fifth, no problem. Six, you know it. Seven, I think you know where I'm going with this, YouTube. Build your graveyard out super fast in tons of different formations. Boom, you're ready to go. I love it. They need one more thing. You know I love my grass flock. So I flock these bad boys with some white PVA glue. I'll link a video to show you how I do that. And now it pays off on the table. Look at this setup. We've got a demoness and she's at the altar raising undead for her evil purposes. Players, get in there. Stop her before this evil overruns the land. I love it. Thanks for watching. Like each other. Love each other. And craft on.